Can you stop what? doing that? Why? Because it's super loud in the mic, man. Well, the president did it all throughout the State of the Union, so... Hello, America! It's me, the Bastard, host of America the Podcast, Season 2, out now in all podcast directories. Here today to give you my reaction to the President's very first State of the Union address. My apologies for the wrinkly state of the flag behind me. The flag and I got drunk during the State of the Union, and the flag is still recovering from a hangover. Isn't that right, flag? Good deal. And here is my reaction. Ah! Just kidding! President Donald Trump's very first State of the Union address went as expected. He relayed nationalistic rhetoric, showed every human political pawn that he could, and even clapped. A lot. <laughs> the only thing surprising was the fact that he read that long without getting bored. Or could read it all. But what was also not surprising was that the Democrats did not stand for hardly anything. And it did not go unnoticed. The president mentioned that he would do the following things that are now scrolling across your screen. And while I agree that it is unlikely that those promises will be fulfilled, at least the non-nationalistic ones, it is still important for Democrats to not be petty. Listen, Democrats, bring it in. Bring it in. You with me, Democrats? You here? Hear my important words. Listen, Democrats, I know you are still upset that you lost in 2016, but we are here now in 2018 and you have another shot at this. You need to pull yourself up by your Clark bootstraps or your brompers or whatever the hell it is you liberals wear these days and stop acting petty like Republicans from the Obama era and start acting tough like the Republicans from the Trump era. You need to go after the jugular of the Republican base. Middle America white people. Also black people. Also Hispanic people. Also everybody. You need to go for all sides, not just one. You need to be like Conan O'Brien impersonator, your future president, and my new political crush. Joe Kennedy. And yes, I know he's a Democrat, but being an independent allows me to swing both ways. In Bobby Kennedy's response last night... What, it's sorry, Joe oh, yes, Kennedy, Joe, not Joe. Bobby. Right. Well, he certainly spoke like Bobby Kennedy. Joe Kennedy encouraged people to help people on both sides, not just one. Wise words from someone who is for sure a clone of John F. Kennedy. And America should take those wise words to heart. America, it is 2018 and the primaries are just over a month away. Meaning a lot of Senate and House seats, both state and federal, as well as governorships, are up for grabs. This year, a record number of women have registered to run. It is your responsibility to educate yourselves on the people running. And I encourage you to educate yourself on both sides. Democrats, read about Republican candidates. Republicans, read about Democratic candidates. Know your enemy, and maybe you will make a new friend. Because you cannot be truly free without being independent. Food for thought. That is all I have to say. I think that about does it. Now, show me this Spyro the Dragon game you keep going on about. Thanks for watching, America. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and follow me at Bastard Comedy on Twitter. And remember to listen to America the Podcast every other Wednesday on Waffle Butt Media. Premieres January 31st. God bless America, and God bless you. Good night. <laughs>